Welcome back to another GeekWatt video. Today's video, we're taking you over the best $400 gaming PC build for the month of August and September 2015. This build is easily capable of the latest AAA titles at 1080p medium, 30 to 60 frames per second, as well as your favourite titles such as CSGO, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, and Minecraft maxed out at Ultra HD resolutions above 1080p. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The CPU I've gone for is a personal favourite of mine. Uh, it's an AMD Athlon X4 860K. It's a quad core CPU which comes out of the box at 3.7 GHz but it is overclockable even on the stock cooler. It does get a little warm but nothing compared to AMD's FX series of CPUs and um, it's great value for $70. It's a quad core CPU which does mean it's compatible with all the latest AAA titles so you'll have no compatibility issues as if you were to use a dual core CPU. For the motherboard, it's another personal favourite of mine, another one that I can say uh, that I, I deeply trust. It's the MSI A78M E35. Uh, it's, this motherboard runs off the A78 um, chipset, uh, A78M chipset, sorry, and is a Micro ATX motherboard with an FM2 Plus socket for that uh, AMD Athlon CPU. This motherboard is slightly smaller, uh, slightly smaller form factor than a full size ATX motherboard, which does mean that your system is going to take up less space, but it does keep all the expandability of, say, an ATX motherboard uh, rather than sacrificing it all with an ITX form factor. It's got a PCIe and PCI uh, Gen 3 slots at X16 and it's, it's just a great all-round motherboard with display outputs, USB 3, etc. The RAM I've gone for is yet another one that I extremely trust and put my trust in. It's the Kingston HyperX Fury. Uh, you can get this in either blue, red, black or white. I've gone for blue for this build just because I think it matches slightly better than, than some of the other colours. This is DDR3 uh, 1600 memory which means it's a great all-rounder and for 2 4GB for an 8GB kit this really is great value and you can't go wrong with this, with this memory kit. For storage, it's yet another personal favourite of mine. It's the Seagate Barracuda 1TB. Uh, this drive is only a hard drive, so it is slower than an SSD, but it's 7200 RPM, and the 1TB capacity certainly makes up for that, with great value, and it will store all your movies, music, games, etc. Personal, another personal favourite of mine, an absolutely great hard drive. The video card that I've gone for is the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. This is a 2 gig model. This is the super clocked, uh, the super clocked card with the ACX cooler with the two fans. And with this already being on the Maxwell architecture and already being quite a cool card, these fans will keep it super cool, making it great for overclocking. Just to squeeze that e extra performance out, especially at the budget end. Not to say you have to overclock it, but it certainly is a nice bonus. The case I've gone for is the Cougar MG100. This case is a micro ATX case with front panel USB 3 and USB 2 power reset uh, headphone microphone, etc. Along with five and a quarter inch expansion bays. This this case is just a great all rounder. I mean, it, it looks very good as well, uh, and it matches quite well with the other components in the build. Nice build experience from Cougar there. The power supply I've gone for is the EVGA 430 watt, um, their 80 plus certified ATX power supply. This is always better than a, an inbuilt case power supply, and it's super reliable for the uh, the GPU. The GPU only needs a, a six pin extra CPU, extra GPU power, sorry, and this, this power supply is easily capable of coping with that with plenty of headroom on top. And that wraps it up for my $400 build. If you have found this build helpful, do remember to like, comment, rate, and please do subscribe, and we'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video. The video you've just been watching is all part of GeekerWatt's Big Summer. Check the links in the description below for 50 videos over 42 days and 6 weeks. The idea is to get loads of tech related content up from tech terminology, tech reviews, tech news, PC builds, uh, tech topics, along with a load of Windows 10 content, and my Budget Build Guide 2015 and How to Build a, ba a Gaming PC 2015 tutorials. We'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video and I'll see you over on Twitter with hashtag GeekerWatt's Big Summer.